Most modern cryptographic systems require us to find a very high power of a very large number. And so we might be multiplying or might need to multiply a number by itself trillions and trillions and trillions of times. And this is going to take a huge amount of time to try and implement. And so one way we can get around that is by using something called the fast powering algorithm. And in general, the idea is that I can evaluate an expression of the form a to power m mod n in the following way. What I can do, first of all, is I can evaluate a squared, a to the fourth, a to the eighth, and in general, a to power 2k mod n for all 2k that are less than the exponent that we're interested in. And then what I can do is I can construct a to the m as a product of factors of this form. And then I'll multiply these and reduce mod n. Now, one of the reasons that this is useful is that these successive powers of a are formed by taking one of these and squaring, and taking one of these and squaring. And every time we square a number, we double the exponent, so our exponents are all going to be powers of 2. And this innovative algorithm was invented around 200 BC in a slightly different context in India, and that's a story for another day. But uh, let's go ahead and take an example here. We want to find 2 to 3 to the power 35 mod 37. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate 3 to the power 2 to the k for any value of 2k that's less than 35. So let's start out. We'll find 3 is congruent to 3. Well, that's unexciting. Uh, 3 to the second power 3 squared is congruent to 9. 3 to the fourth is the preceding value squared. So that's 3 squared squared. That's 9 squared. That's 81. And here's the important point. If I don't reduce this, this is more than the modulus. If I don't reduce this, I'm losing all of the good things I have with modulo arithmetic. So I really want to reduce this so I have to the ability to work with smaller numbers. So instead of working with 81, I'll knock that down mod 37 down to 7. And note that in my next step, I'll need to square this. It's much easier to square 7 than it would have been to square 81. So next step, 3 to the 8, that's the previous one squared. That's 7 squared. That's 49. Knock down mod 37 to 12. And again, 3 to the 16, 12 squared, 144, knock down mod 37, down to 33. 3 to the 32nd, 3 to the 16 squared, 33 squared, 1089, knock down to 16. And at this point, if I go any further, I will get 3 to the 64th, but I only need 3 to the 35. So I'm done with the, as it were, data collection step. Now what I want to do is I want to find 3 to power 35. So I'm going to select the factors whose product will give me 3 to power 35. And this is just, if the term means anything to you, uh, finding the binary representation of 35. And I can do that by selecting, let's see, I need this one. So we'll take the largest value that we need. We need 3 to the 32nd. Uh, we don't need the 3 to the 16th. That gets us too much. 3 to the 8th don't need that one. If I multiply these two together, I get too much. 3 to the 40th, so I'll get rid of that one. 3 to the 4th, still too much. That would give us 3 to the 36. Get rid of that. I do need this one. That's 3 to the 34th, and one more is 3 to the 35. So I'll multiply those three terms together. That's 3 by 9 by 16, and after all the dust settles, 432, knock it down mod 37, and collect the exponents, 3 to the power 35, congruent to 25. Well, let's take a look at another example. Uh, we want to find 4 to the power 50 mod 19. Now, remember that one of the nice things about working mod anything is that you never have to work with a number larger than or even equal to the modulus. You can always work with smaller numbers. If we don't mind working with negative numbers, we can cut that down still farther, and the largest number we'll have to work with is half the size of the modulus. So for example, here, 4 congruent to 4 mod 19, 4 squared congruent to 16. And I could work with 16, but I also note that this is actually 3 less than the modulus. So instead, I could work with negative 3 much smaller, nicer number to work with. 4 to the 4th, uh, 4 squared squared, that's negative 3 squared, that's 9, that's 81. And again, I can work with, I'll knock that down by the modulus, 4 to the 16th, 5 squared, 25, down to 6. 
4 to the 32nd, 4 to the 16th squared, 6 squared, 36, and again, this time I'll knock that down to negative 2 rather than the corresponding value 17. And again, this way I can work with even smaller numbers if I should want to. Now, as human beings, this is important. As computers, it might not be quite as important to do so. But I'll pick the values that give me 4 to the 50th, that's 4 to the 32nd, 4 to the 16th, 4 squared, multiply them together, there's 4 to the 32nd, 4 to the 16th, 4 squared. Over on the left-hand side, I have power 50. Over on the right-hand side, I have product negative 2, 6, and negative 3. Gives me 36. Knock it down, mod 19, down to 17, and there's my final answer.